This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. Welcome back to another Truth Nugget. We'll pick right back up where we left yesterday in talking about temptation and the fact that we need to watch and pray that we not enter into temptation. Of course, this is what Jesus said to his disciples on the Garden of Gethsemane the night before he was crucified, the night that he was betrayed. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation, Matthew 26, 41. And we talked about temptation, and I read a portion of John Owen's sermon, uh, an excerpt from his sermon, and I want to read you a quote also from Martin Lloyd-Jones, the doc Martin Lloyd-Jones. He says this about temptation, It is not at all surprising that God's great enemy, the devil, in his anxiety to ruin God's perfect creation, should first and foremost have attacked the mind. In the temptation of Eve, we read that the devil reasoned with her. He presented a case to he presented a case to her. Hath God said in Genesis three one, he was appealing to her reason, to her understanding, and in her folly she listened. The serpent beguiled Eve, as the apostle puts it in Second Corinthians eleven three, and so she fell, and from there on human understanding has been warped. And so there, on human understanding, has been warped. It has been blinded and blunted. It has been rendered incapable of operating as God had originally intended. Our human understanding, there was a typo. But yes, that's uh, exactly what has happened there. Is uh, that's how sin entered the world, and so our understanding has been warped, our understanding has been tainted, and so we deal with that. And so, there are lies that the devil uh, spreads, and there are lies that many Christians are believing sadly. And we need to stay grounded in the Word of God and not believe Satan's lies. This is what Jonathan Edwards says about temptation. He says, It is our duty not only to avoid those things that are themselves sinful, but also, as far as may be, those things that lead and expose to sin. There are things that we clearly see are sinful, and then there are things that lead and expose sin. Sometimes our sin is exposed in situations where we're overwhelmed. Sometimes our sin is exposed when we're under great stress. Sometimes our situation is exposed and it leads to sin. Uh, it provokes our sin when we keep too busy, have too many family engagements. And, and sometimes our sin is exposed in, in many other situations that we might think of. Uh, we can't exactly stop doing all of uh, the activities that we need to do, but there's a recognition that we ought to watch and pray. We need to be alert of sinful tendencies, and we need to pray and ask God to help us. Ask God to help us to hold our tongue, to help us to watch over us as we interact with certain people that are more difficult to interact with. Ask God to help us to watch our attitude as we are dealing with this circumstance and that circumstance. These are all temptations that we're dealing with. Every one of us has to deal with these things, and so we should pray for God to help us in our attitudes, in our actions, in our thoughts. Uh, it begins in the mind, and then it leads to the heart, and it comes out of our mouth, our actions, our deeds. Um, uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so the mouth speaks and also the hands do. These all come from the heart. And so let's continually be in prayer, asking God to help us to not fall into temptation and to not walk in sin because we want to walk in a way that pleases the Lord. Well, let's do that today. Let's walk in a way that pleases the Lord. Father, I do pray that you would help us to walk in a way that would please you at all times. Please help us see 
when we are tempted to behave in a certain way, tempted to say things that are inappropriate, tempted to have a bad attitude about things, to think poorly about a situation that you have us in, about people, whatever it might be, Lord. Please help us to walk in a way that honors you and lifts you up and glorifies Christ. And I do pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I do pray that was a blessing. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow for another Truth Nugget.